the grand opening of the CARB facility was November 18th. And I think what a lot of people saw in that grand opening was really the, maybe we'll call it the front of the lab, which is the light duty part. That's the part people probably most associate with CARB, is light duty emissions for automotive. I think what maybe wasn't so visible and actually is more important to their mission going forward is uh, they've got a huge chemistry lab for, for starters. They've, you know, they're more than just a regulator. They're a, uh, a research team. That facility is now located essentially adjacent to University of California Riverside where some of the best scientists are, are being trained in that field. So they've got access to talent. They've got a state-of-the-art chemistry lab where they can study how emissions become precursors to smog and how that changes. You know, it's it's a photochemistry sort of uh, you know mechanism that that makes that happen. And then in the back of the lab is this heavy-duty area, and that's a capability that they really didn't have before. And that's going to become much more important to their mission now going forward because with the mandates now for electric vehicles, the carbs, you know, the carb team has basically driven, you know, the, the, the rulemaking or the lawmaking so that the, uh, you know, in California, you're not gonna be able to buy a, a gasoline powered car in, you know, 10 years. So they sort of see themselves on a path to basically solving that problem or put air quotes around it, essentially solving that problem. So, a lot of the, the activity is going to happen now in the back part, what maybe we'll call the back part of that lab, which is in heavy duty. And that's still really important. You, you see how much material now flows through California with the supply chain crisis. You've seen a lot of the imagery, you know, now we are aware of how many boats and how many containers and how critical that is. So that heavy duty uh, activity in the back where they have three of these very large chassis dynamometers complete with emissions capability, all brand new, all state of the art, that's where I think the next set of rulemaking is gonna come out of CARB. And you know, I think what's important for the industry is that that facility is pretty unique in the US. There's only a few facilities in the US right now that have anything close to that level of capability. So I think that's gonna be a, a, a bit of a wake up call for the industry. The other thing they have, which also is sort of between the light duty wing and the heavy duty wing, they have an engine lab. And that engine lab can do up to 800 horsepower heavy duty with the transmission where we simulate the rest of the vehicle. So now you can look at an engine and a transmission. Uh, you can look at how it, how it will actually perform in lots of different configurations, in lots of different applications. Basically, we're modeling the rest of the truck. We're modeling the road and the, uh, the environment that it's operating in. And so with you know, a few clicks of the mouse, you can actually take it from pulling a flatbed, pulling a padded van, uh, you know, driving a West Coast route over the mountains versus driving a Great Plains route. So they're gonna be able to study a lot of different scenarios much, much quicker. And that engine lab goes all the way down to you know, something as small as a chainsaw. So I know of no other lab in the world that has the capability from small to big on that scale. So a really unique facility, really exciting time. I'm, I'm excited for them. The, the staff is also really, you can see they're really energized and excited. So uh, exciting times. That lab will start to now come online in, at the end of, basically at the end of Q1. And uh, so we're excited to see what's going to happen.